the topic of our today's lecture is the psychology of language this is an interesting area for language learners and teachers we'll begin this lecture by introducing psycholinguistics which is the field of studies which deals with the relationship of human mind and language this focuses on how language is processed or made within the mind and then uttered by the speakers or users of a language psycholinguistics treats language users as an individual instead of of a part of a group it sees how an individual's internal makeup mental makeup helps him or her to produce the language and how his linguistic performance is determined by his mental limitations or freedoms therefore the scope of a uh, psycholinguistics involves to see how the language processes within the mind work therefore it sees language as a product of a human mind and it tries to trace various linguistic patterns which exist in human mind or various human beings speaking the same language or different languages by analyzing these patterns the psycholinguist try to develop some universal patterns which may all individuals have innately psycholinguistics also take help from other disciplines like neurolinguistics semantics and pragmatics and phonetics it deals with codification and decodification of the language codification involves uh, the processes which help us to make or produce language to produce those linguistic words or sentences which can convey our meaning and decodification involves those processes which help uh, help us to understand the language or the communication uttered by others that means it helps us to decode the meanings produced by others some of the major areas of psycholinguistics involve language processing how mind processes a certain language or a piece of language then uh, language storage and access how mind stores the particular knowledge of a language and how could we access that knowledge when we need it that that is a critical area of psycholinguistics it also deals with comprehension theory that enables us that helps us to understand how uh, we how can we compre comprehend a certain piece of linguistic knowledge then uh, the relationship between language and brain is also discussed in in some parts of psycholinguistics uh, where does brain stores the linguistic knowledge and then language in exceptional circumstances circumstances uh, for example how does aging or some kind of impairment uh, affect linguistic knowledge of an individual first language acquisition is also an interesting area of psycholinguistics it deals with how the young kids learn their first language they acquire it through experience or they acquire it through some innate ability psycholinguistics deals with such questions in detail let's have a look at some sub fields of psycholinguistics through this picture in front of you you could see there are four major areas of psycholinguistics here acquisition that means language acquisition production resolution and comprehension how language is acquired and produced and how it is lost in a dissolution and how it is comprehended you see acquisition and production involves synthesis of of the knowledge linguistic knowledge in the mind and dissolution and comprehension involves the analysis of linguistic knowledge that comes to us acquisition and dissolution they are dichronic they happen in a certain period of time they do not happen all of a sudden synchronic parts of psycholinguistic for example production and comprehension uh, they happen at a certain period of time the knowledge of psycholinguistics is very important for language learners and teachers 
because some researchers believe, uh, believe that knowing uh, the knowledge of first language acquisition may help second language learners and teachers to draw some conclusions for second language learning and teaching as well.